Hi, everybody. Welcome to Shop Talk. My name is Keith. I'm here today with my best friend, Bob. Hey, and I'm Bob, and I'm here today with my best friend, Keith. And we're here to talk about any kind of issues you might be having with CNCs. And one of the questions that we have been dealing with uh, quite a bit, well, they seem to come in cycles. Yeah, they absolutely do. So one of them is orientation. How do I set my computer up? And that really is something that, uh, that we're going to explain to try to show you how it makes it easier if you're like me and, and orientation is super important because uh, if I get things like I had a remote control helicopter once and I could hover really nice but if yeah. I ever turn that sucker right around facing me I crashed it every time because I'm not really good at flipping things in my brain I have to have it really simple okay so we're gonna go over orientations of how to make that's that why easy. we're good friends <laughs> <laughs> could be okay right well that's good for me and the other thing that I'd like to do then is just kind of show you some uh, simple stuff about uh, uh, the universal g-code sender what we yep. use to uh, send g-code so uh, let's just go ahead and right. uh, get started there uh, since I have the laptop open theoretically and I have a mouse and I'll just go ahead and close out of that and then maybe oh, close nice out of that box. oh there's the moon again and then <laughs> we'll open up the universal g-code sender and where did it go I have no idea it was there. Yeah, and then it disappeared. And you know, but anyway, here's our CNC machine for today. Just missing a few parts. <laughs> Very quiet. But it is. Yeah. And it's, light. It's the new version. So yeah. uh, I'm going to go ahead and hand this to Keith. But uh, before I do, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to hit Windows, Reset Windows. And that's going to give it back uh, to the default view that you would have. Now, if you have a different version, if you've downloaded the stable version or something, it's going to look a little bit different than this. But this is really going to uh, be what you come up with. Now, uh, one thing that uh, uh, when we troubleshoot that I'm going to need to know is all of these values here and you can see that they don't show up on what this. What values Bob? These X values, Y value, and uh, there's a Z there. But if Keith will grab it by the title bar. Which it, is right there. Yeah and you slide it up and you'll see an orange circle. Oh, you can let it go. Yeah and then there it is. This will be up here now that it I can see amazing. all the numbers that I need to see. Are you proud of yourself? Well, I am because yeah. I've done this like four Very times. Very nicely able to do it. done. It was Thank really, you. really, really nicely done. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So, so now you can see this. So the next thing I would do is go ahead and hit the jog controller button so that your jog controller window is open. So now you have everything that you need really on this screen uh, that uh, you're going to need and to do CNC. CNC. Okay. And so I don't need all this information on the. Uh, well, the, there's a welcome page up here that I always close, but it doesn't hurt anything. But if you click to the welcome tab up here, the welcome page, okay, you can see that it gives you a... Oh, uh, I have no idea. Oh, there it is. Dunk. You can, you can close that window out or you can read the getting started, probably some good information in there. Okay. So the first thing that you're going to do, and notice we're in idle, that's because I unlocked the machine, but you're going to home the machine. And what everybody, do you mean by that? You just said something, you're assuming people know what you're talking about. Okay. You just unlock the machine. Okay, so in this version it says unlock. Uh, we do not recommend this because you need to home your machine to sync it with the computer. But for okay. this demonstration, I just went ahead and unlocked it. Okay? So, here is home machine. It may say dollar sign H, but it's basically, it's going to home your machine. You need to do this so that your computer is synced right. with the CNC. And what it's going to do is drive it to the home uh, corner of, of the machine on those switches and then back off a little bit. Now we're going to show you that in just a little bit. Right, we'll show you that. Okay. So in our what? video that we'll do in a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So now did, what? Did I confuse you? Yes, you did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got, I got a, <laughs> That's right. a limited <laughs> amount of brain power here. So let's just try to stay focused. Okay. All right. So the next thing is then uh, is the jog screen. Um, a lot of people will write in and say, hey, Bob at Homes, but I can't do anything after that. So I wanted to just kind of walk through the jog screen. First of all, I like inches. You don't have to be in inches, but uh, for this video, we're going to be in inches because that's the units that I think in. Uh, what I would like to do is go ahead and set the step size to one inch, the Z step size to a quarter of an inch, which is 0.25, and the feed rate at 200. 
Now those are really just to get you started and that means that the uh, the machine is going to move at 200 inches per minute and every time you click an X or a Y it's going to move one inch and every time you click the Z up or Z down it's going to move a quarter of an inch. Now, dumb question. Okay. The feed rate's really got nothing to do with anything at this point. It has nothing to do with the way the program runs. It has to do with how fast the jog speed is. Okay. So if I wanted to jog slower, I could make that 150, 10. But what happens is sometimes in the default settings, it's set to 0.1 millimeter and then one millimeter per minute. Well, when you hit the button, it's actually trying to move that 0.1 millimeter at one millimeter in a minute. So it's barely well, moving. Of that, when people will call, they'll say, well, I, I, I can't jog my machine. Yeah, it's humming, but yeah. it doesn't move. It is actually- I do that a lot too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do yes but it's actually moving it's just moving so slow that you can't get to it okay so yeah so change your uh, step size to inch uh, 200 for a, a feed rate or 100 and okay. if you want to be in millimeters if you happen to be one of those people that love millimeters just times everything by 25.4 or by 25 so then you would want like your XY step size into an inch would be 25.4 uh, the Z There's too much math Bob too much math yeah okay times it by 25 <laughs> Okay. So, okay, so there's that. And then uh, there's another thing that we might as well cover in this video that uh, will be helpful. If you come up and you uh, change some settings in your uh, setup wizard, which we don't recommend because we're setting this machine up for you uh, right out of the factory. But if you do and you go, ah, oh, now I watched the video, it's really easy. If you type in this text box down here in the command text box, dollar sign RST equals dollar sign, it will put your firmware back to the default. Now, if you have an older E4, you'll also want to change dollar sign 130 and dollar sign 131 both to 610, right? If you have a newer machine, it's going to automatically set those for you. Now, if you want to check and see what those firmware values are, you could just go ahead and type in dollar sign dollar sign in the command text box. So let's do that. And uh, it's already here, but he'll do it again just to show you. The same screen will come up and it will have all of the firmware values for you so you can check and make sure that uh, uh, they're the same uh, or, or they're what they need to be. And those values are in the assembly manual. So that's really kind of what we wanted to cover for today, except for we really want to show um, the orientation, but we'll need to go ahead and set up a uh, CNC machine for that. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Uh, hey guys, what we wanted to uh, illustrate for you is how you orient your laptop with your uh, E3 or E4 when you're setting it up in your shop. For a lot of you guys, you've just got your machines together, you got the electronics hooked up, but this thing has not come alive yet. So the thing we wanted to illustrate is you want to pretty much set it up the way we have it set it up here. You want to have your laptop oriented to this corner of your machine, and we're going to explain that in just a second. But when you've opened up UGS, one of the first things you're going to notice is there's going to be a red bar on the screen that says you're in alarm mode. And a lot of guys want to have a heart attack. That alarm simply means you need to home the machine. In other words, the uh, computers have to talk to each other and they've got to know where the home position of this machine is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the home command on this screen and watch what happens to the machine. I'm hitting it right now. You'll see it's basically driving it to each of the home switches and then it's backing off and trying it again. So, you know, now the X and Y are moving and there's going to hit the switches that you have here on X and Y and then they're going to back off again. Now your machine is homed and really what this means is that the uh, computer understands that this machine is now in this corner. If you didn't home, the machine could be anywhere and the computer wouldn't have the same reference point. So now they're basically at the same point. Now, what Keith was talking about with uh, setting up your machine, and we talked about this earlier, if you have a problem with orientation like I do, it's really cool if I hit the uh, right button and the machine moves right. So X plus is happening to be the right button on the machine so if he clicks that the machine moves right and the same thing if he clicks X minus then the machine is going to go back to the left now you'll notice also on UGS you have a Y plus and a Y minus Y plus is on the top and if you click that the machine moves away 
and if you click the Y minus, the, the machine moves back. And uh, why is this important? Well, it's not if, if you don't have problems with orientating things, but if you're like me and you know you need it to be the same way that it is on the computer screen, then uh, this is the way that you're going to set it up. And what he means by that is you're going to, uh, we're assuming you've made some kind of a, a G code. And when you download that into UGS, that's going to appear in this viewer. And so we want the machine to do the uh, the cutting or, or you know, v-carving, whatever you're doing. We want it to follow the same pattern you see here. And so that being said, yeah, if we, we tip this up, yeah, we can do that. What we have in fact done is you. now we have a physical representation of that screen. So whatever appears here is going to be cut that way with the machine. Hey, you want to try something really crazy? Let's try jogging it in the X plus on your screen, okay. and then we'll go up, and then you'll see that it does actually matter. Oh, wait, the, oh, hey, this goes this way. <laughs> I'm I sorry. wasn't expecting that, but that works. How about Y? Y should make this go up. Yeah. Okay, there you go. So if you guys could see, if I was riding in the same direction on the screen, now, he's playing, now he's playing with me. But I can do this all day long. <laughs> Are you going to go down now? No, oh, do you want me to go down? Yeah. Right, so, so this right here would be the home corner, right? Your work would be put in here. So if your work said, hello world, or Keith is my best friend, then <laughs> on the screen that way, it would I'll also come, cut in I'd here. I'd like right you there. to make me a plaque that says that. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, I doubt yeah, it. When I get time. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna set this back down. Okay. So anyway, I hope that uh, clears it up. Uh, what I like to say is we carve in the landscape mode. Right. And then if you actually uh, orient yourself so you're looking at what everybody assumes is the side of the machine then uh, have your computer this way I think you'll find that uh, the orientation matches uh, what you uh, will expect when you cut yeah works for me guys if you have any questions just get a hold of us at the help desk at uh, bobcnc.com thanks so much thanks guys